Hi, I've uh, decided to create this tutorial to show you how to resize photos. Uh, now, for example, these eight photos here have a total of 39.4 megabytes in size. Now, these photos were taken with the digital SLR camera, uh, Canon 650D. They're quite large, so per picture, 5.8 megs. Now, if you're going to upload these onto a website, for example, a photo gallery, and if that website doesn't actually have capabilities to resize photos when you upload them, uh, or if you want to email these photos to a friend using Gmail or Hotmail, it's going to be a bit difficult because 39.4 megabytes is usually uh, rejected by many email, email providers. Uh, so I found a really easy way how to uh, resize photos. This has been my way for a long time, so I thought I'll just share that with you. Uh, all you need is Microsoft Outlook installed on your computer and just an email set up associated with it. A lot of people can set up their ISP emails. For example, I use Big Pond, so I'm using my Big Pond email on my Outlook. Uh, now, all you really need to do, just to make things nice and easy, I've created two folders on my desktop, one called Big, one called Small, and I've dragged all the photos, all the large photos, uh, totaling 39.4 megabytes, into the Big folder, just to keep things neat and tidy. And all I need to do is I need to just highlight the images, all of them at once. You can hit Control A or just click and drag and highlight all the images. Just right click on one of the images, go to send to mail recipient. Now a dialog box will come up and it will ask you for a picture size. Usually I choose 800 by 600 because that's an optimal size for web viewing. Uh, and as you can see that it's already going to uh, resize it to 1.09 megabytes, which is a massive difference compared to 39.4 megabytes. Uh, if we just click on the attach button there, as you can see, it's preparing to send. We're, we're not really sending, we're just using the functionality of the resizer. Uh, now, I've just had an email pop up on, on my screen, or a, a brand new email as if it's a draft, and you'll notice that the attachments are located in the attached field here. All you need to do is just highlight all of these, right click, copy, and then you'll just need to go to your small folder and right click and paste. And you'll notice now that all of these images in here are only 401 kilobytes. Those are perfect for emailing, uh, uploading to websites, Facebook, whatever you'd like. I hope that's helped. Thank you.